Right, it's Saturday the 28th of March and I've just been staying at my girlfriend's house and I really miss my boat, but more importantly it's my home, so I'm in my girlfriend Alice's car and I'm going to go and see if it's still there. I've got people looking after it, but I am still need to go and check it over. There's food on board um, and we're running out of food and so not to put too much pressure on the supermarkets, I'm just going to go to my boat and get the food. And also my guitar, because I really miss that. <laughs> um, but I'm just hoping I don't get stopped along the way and um, sort of ordered to pay a fine or something. Is that going to happen? I've got to go on the motorways. Anyone way to find out? Let's crank it. Right, I've made it to where my boat is. I've just got to go now, go on the boat, get what I need, and then just go back again. The roads themselves mostly got lorries on them, a um, lot of police and ambulances going up and down, and just people who need to be on the road. So, um, yeah, so part of me thinks, do I really need to go and see my boat? Is it really going to be a life or death issue? Obviously not, but I follow the government guidelines, you know, I'm not seeing a second home. I'm not going to a campsite. I think that was some of the um, the points they made, but they didn't say anything about if you actually live on a boat, which is what I and many others do. So uh, this is my home. I've got to come and check it out. The day before, I checked on the Canal and River Trust website, and my interpretation of what they've put on there is that as a permanent liverboard, I can visit my boat. Oh, it looks like it's still there, and I'm joined by a couple of other boats as well. First things first, look on the roof and the windows. Windows are all right. That's just straight out. It's been a bit windy recently, but not that bad. Yeah, looking good. Obviously, uh, Barry and Gary, shout out Barry and Gary. You've kept, kept an eye on the boat, so yes, yeah, looking good. But as, uh, as I'm joking with them, the bike is still there. <laughs> My battered old bike. So uh, I need to go and try and get rid of that at some stage. So if anyone actually wants that, let me know. We're trying to sort something out. <laughs> right. I always sort of dread going back in the boat when I leave it for so long. Um, I'm not a fan of spiders, basically. So <laughs> you usually get quite a few if you've, leave, if you've left the boat. Because um, they, just, they just hop on, don't they? Hop aboard. They like being on boats. But... Uh, not looking too bad. Oh, that's my keys. Let's open this up. That's. Let's open this. Ah, oh, yeah, all looking good inside. I left it quite tidy, purposefully, because I thought, well. I'm coming back, I don't want to be sort of tripping over everything, do I? But I've still got washing up to put away. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's all looking okay here. No massive spiders that I can see. So anyway, yeah, better get my stuff and pack up the car and go get on again. Uh, just like the roads, the canals are very important to keep running because obviously water management, flooding, all that sort of stuff. So the Canal and River Trust are still keeping them running but there are little signs of uh, perhaps um, inactivity on the waterways which um, I think people still yeah of course people still need to move their boats to get water and um, you know empty toilets all that sort of stuff so there's still movement just not as much as as normal anyway first things first food food is becoming difficult to get hold of the supermarkets um, they're well stocked where I'm staying at the moment, my girlfriend's, but we are, we don't want to risk it so much. We don't, go, don't, keep, don't want to keep going into the shops. Um, ordering food's become a bit of a nightmare. So I'm just gonna take all that food and take it back because that will be very useful for us or co-isolating to get together. My girlfriend and her almost three-year-old daughter, which has been really, really fun. I've loved staying with them. And it's a great distraction from missing the boat. <laughs> uh, right, what else do I need? Well, obviously, my guitar. I've got. I need to get that back off my friends. 
So yeah, better go and see them. Right, my friends Gary and Barry, they live in this marina here. Um, and I've just walked down to meet them and meet the guitar as well, sort of do some kind of hygienic handover. I don't know how this is going to work. What's up, uh, Rob? Perfect, thank you very much. Are you oh, both well? Been... Both all right? Yeah, we're terrific. Really yeah. good, thank oh, you. All right, cheers, guys. Right, take cheers, care, Bye. See you next time. Come on, Dave. So I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played for a few weeks. Oh, right. Let's get you back. Back to Yorkshire. I have just seen a spider. There he is. But um, I like these ones. These are jumping spiders. Or zebra spiders or whatever so yeah that one could stay on board it's fine there is one thing that can worry boaters and that is uh, bilge uh, water collecting down there but um, that's all good. The people looking after my boat have obviously been watching out for it. Thanks, Gary and Barry. <sighs> it's weird, this time it feels even more final, like I'm leaving the boat for a longer time. I think I was prepared only for a few days last time, but it's, I've already been away from the boat for longer than I think I've ever been before, so yeah, it's weird. I, I want to be back on the boat, but at the same time, I could be more use to um, my girlfriend and her daughter, and I want to be with them. I don't want to be stuck on a boat on my own. It's nice. I've been chatting to some people. Um, you know, I've obviously said hello to Gary and Barry, 
and I've been chatting away to Emma, who's Narrowboat Girl on YouTube. She runs her own YouTube channel, and her mum. And um, yeah, also chatting to another boater who said he's watching the videos, Chris. Um, so it was just it was nice to sort of chat to people. Um, but at the same time, we're still having to give each other room and you know, step back two metres. It feels a bit weird. We're not back to normal, and, and it doesn't feel like we're going to be back to normal for a long, long time. Is that me being pessimistic? I don't know, but yeah, I'm just now thinking I'm not going to see my boat until something like midsummer. Madness. Anyway, good on Barry and Gary for looking after it. And everyone else who's keeping an eye on the naughty lass, I've got to thank you too. Anyway, I hope you're okay and your family are safe and well and oh, just hope you get through all this um, and I hope my videos entertain you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.